to Shots Fired, where we're going to start in career mode with Kieran again. Yeah. Maybe he'll actually do it right this time. Wow. Fuck you. Um, what do I want? 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 Sure, let's have that. Yep. Okay. So start oh. for... Uh, Maybe difficulty options and put that on easy for you. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be really honest with you. It's really difficult this okay. game. Like this isn't me like digging around. Like this. This is necessary. This is necessary. This is because ne no. Because the harder you get, basically what it becomes is that you don't get money back, and like once your curls die, they're dead. Oh. And you have to hire new ones. This way you can revert it and stuff. Thanks. I got it. Okay. So this is your starting space. Notice how it's a lot smaller this time. Yes. Because you have a lot less. So. Let's first look at, okay, so top right, up there, click on, no, not that. Yeah, so these are your contracts right now, right? So these are your goals. Ah, uh, right, okay. And if you achieve those goals, you get more money. And the more money you get, the more research and the more everything. Okay, so, I have cash right now. Mm -hmm. And there's research and development. So if you go into research and development, I've got to start, and then I can research basic rocketry. Okay, you don't have or... any, you don't have any, so, oh, so there's research science. points. Yeah, okay. No, don't, don't do that. Just, um, oh, maybe it is exit. Try that button. Top end. Okay, so yeah, let's start a rocket. Let's make a rocket. Okay, we'll just make, we'll just. We'll just start with a rocket. We'll go, we'll, we'll go, go full, balls deep. Yeah, full fledged, right away. Okay. Enough of that. So. Yeah, so uh, this is the only scene. This is really simple. Now you add some fuel tanks. Don't have any of those. Cool. Engines. See, that's it. That's what you get. So okay, put it on the butt. Just. Yeah, smack it on. Now let's okay. see, let's, let's see if you have any. You might have a parachute, which would definitely be helpful. Oh yeah, there you go. Put the parachute on top. And if you want, you can add some wings. Let's add some wings. So let's do the thing you did before with the symmetry, so you don't have to put them on four times or whatever. It's a very helpful tool. There you go. And this is it. This is my rocket. I think so. Okay, so now, before we go any further, before this gets too complicated, I'm going to teach you how to use the stages, right? So, go over here. So this is stage zero. This is the last stage that pops. So, hit the plus button. You add another stage. Now drag the rocket down onto the other one. So this way, that stage will go, so the rocket will go first, then you can hit space again, and the parachute will deploy. Right, I see. So that's what space is. Space doesn't actually start, it's like, so if I was, set next stage. If I were to move this down to make it look nice. That makes it look nice? No, that makes it look nice. No, 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 keep it on, it's too late. You mean it's too late? Okay. It's, not, it's, it's never too late. It's not too late, it's never too late. Okay, so. Alright, so let's watch. Alright, so I'm going to teach you about something, real, two real quick things for us that will come later. There's R and T, right? Click right. these buttons. So one is for, so hit T. So that's SAS, uh, it's stability basically. So that's like to keep it from rotating, I think. And then RCS, oh no, that's rotational control. So that's rotational and the SAS is to keep it on the same trajectory, I think. I'll we'll probably have to check that for the next video, okay. but it's not necessary right now. I just just having them on if you want to go straight up. Well then, so right. hit, just hit R and T. Okay, and then just so it's a solid rocket booster. So the thing about solid rocket booster, it's just on and that's it. There's no throttle. There's no. You just hit it and you're gone. <laughs> so you you're already achieving your speed records. So you, that's it. My height record. That's all you got. That was your thing. So if you hit the that space was better button, better than the other one, mate. <laughs> so if you hit the space, hit the space bar, so you can get just get your parachute out, so we can do some things while we're up here. Okay. So click on, so right click on the uh, the cockpit. Oh. Now you can get a crew report. So crew reports and a couple other things are how you get science. So click on the blue button. No. Yep. So right now the shore is like inviting as you watch the waves roll into the coast. So you can transmit it, but you don't have a transmitter. Or you can write it down on the clipboard. Keep it. So there you go. So now when you get back down to Earth, you'll have seven science points you can go spend. Oh, okay. You can can yeah, you can name you can name every vessel you have. That's cool. Maybe we'll start doing that. Start yeah, giving cool. names. Um, USS Fuck It. Yeah. <laughs> the dildo copter. <laughs> So long rod of when we get fire. when we get further into this, you actually have the ability, and it wasn't really coming to play until you hit um, like orbits and stuff. But you can just send one into orbit and leave it up there, and wow. you can keep going back and monitor it, and you can launch another rocket. Wow. You can have like shit tons of rockets orbiting. You don't get, you don't just get one at a time. Right, so I think this parachute will activate at uh, five. <laughs> yeah, well, 
but that was a D. Yeah. So now you should. There you go. Control. Yeah, he knows he's gonna land safely. So you can. Uh, it's fucking face. So when you get down on the ground before we send it in, we're gonna have him do something called an EVA, which is uh, I don't know what the number what it stands for. Basically, you'll step out of the vehicle, and you can take a look around. Oh, okay. So there's a couple ways to get science. So you can either do it in space or you can do it on the Earth too. You can go around, visit the water, visit the mountains, visit the plains, and get some get some science reports out there. Can I make like a plane where it just takes off and lands easy? Yeah. Well, I don't know about lands easy, but you can you can make a plane. And like land it and then get out. Yeah. Okay, so now that that's done, what do I do? So now you just. Oh, so so let's 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 have them go on an EVA first. Okay. So we don't waste this. So click on Jebediah, down the bottom right. Sorry. EVA. All right. So now he's standing out there. So now you can. Now here's your options. Now you actually control him. So now he's climbing up. Oh, he just fell. That's okay though. He'll stand up. There you go. Now you can right click on him. And have him do an EVA report. See, I don't think the spacesuit is entirely necessary to get here, was it? Now go ahead, and climb back on if you can. <laughs> okay. Here, one of my favorite part is when you run and when you run and jump. So I think if you hold shift, he runs, and then space to jump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have to climb back up, but I don't know if you can do that. So I think you, if you just, oh, there you go, hit F to climb. Well, that's that's fine. I'm sure if you uh, so go back up to the top above where it says how high you are above sea level. Recover vessel. So there, there it is. That was your first oh, successful good mission. Good job. Ahead. Good job. Thanks. Well done. Well done. Woo! All right. So now you got 14 science. So now you can go into the science center and buy some shit. You gain one XP. So now he's getting better. So let's go to the science center again. So now you have two options. So for five or five. So click on basic rocketry. So what you get with this, you get a new rocket, a solid fuel booster, and a fuel pod, a fuel tank. Okay. Now if you go to the other one, you'll have another cockpit, Science Junior. So this is good. You want science things, because this will get you more science points when you go up. And then a Communitron, so if you're actually stuck in space, you can send stuff back down. Right. And the stack to coupler, if you stack this top of each other, you can click this, and it'll eject like whatever was below it. Oh, right. So, so you can have multi tanks, stages. Uh, yeah. And then let go, and yeah. then up, and then let go, and then just push it off into yeah. space. Yeah. Ah. They're getting it. See, the thing is, they go really well together. Right, but you have 14 science points, so if you really want, oh, I can you get can both. get both. So that, that, that's what it requires. It requires you to get start, and you already got that. So, so I suggest, so maybe, maybe click the first one, because you definitely need a new rocket booster at the bare minimum. So I research that. Right, so now I just, so you can look at the other, so 18, 20. You don't even have that. Might as well go for this, because then you get another science pod. Yeah. Just, just makes sense. Survival ability, the art of science of landing and walking away from it. Right, so that gives you a heat shield, some radiation panels, micro landing struts, so if you actually land on the moon, parachutes, and the service bay. Ah. Which are for, like, if you, you can actually create a space station in this game. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. So right now, let's, uh... Untitled spacecraft. Oh, oh, uh, re 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 you can get money back for that. Yeah, recovered. There you go. Oh, that also had, that had some more science on it. That's my bad. So you recovered some parts too. Yay! Yay! So you have more science, but we don't have enough science to buy anything because I, I didn't realize that we were missing science. But okay. whatever. Well, let's just build another. Let's, I agree. We should name it this time. Okay. All right. So all right. Let, let, let's trash the. Let's trash everything. Cause you got you got a new you got a new obviously more aerodynamic thing. Yeah. So let's so, it's a Mark One cockpit. Ooh. Yeah, ain't it fancy? Fancy as shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so fuel we'll, tank. So, so fuel tank only works channel. with liquid fuel. Okay. So liquid fuel is the one that that you were able to control earlier. Okay. okay. Yeah. So okay, so throw a fuel tank on. You can throw a couple if you want. You can set them all up. Now let's put um, engines. Yep. So you can. So there, there's two solid fuel boosters now. I suggest at least just putting down uh, the. Well, you need a liquid fuel to go on this fuel tank. So like I said, the fuel tanks can only hold liquid fuel. And those are solid. So yeah. So just put liquid fuel on the bottom. And actually, before we continue, we should put the science bay on. Right. So I suggest putting that underneath your control center. Oh, that's not it. That's a sector coupler. So science is the last one. 
We can't put that on. Let's use the other cockpit for now, then, so we can actually save our kerbals. There's another... The, the next parachute level or whatever will give you radial-mounted parachutes. Oh, you didn't have to. Well, I think you have to put another cockpit down for you or anything. So, pop. Yeah. So, you put the cockpit down, then you put the parachute on top of it. Okay, let's put a science center on. It's on the bottom one. I'll only put them right under. Yeah, so it's my thumb. Put some mystery goo on, too. So that's a couple things you can do up there. Some mystery goo, slap it on, yeah, slap it on wherever, man. And then, uh, in my personally, I like to put the radial coupler underneath now, because there's a certain point that the parachute actually can't hold up everything, and everything will explode into the ground. So if you put a radial coupler here, you can actually eject all your rockets and save the science bay. So that? Yeah, so put that underneath. So, uh... Right, so it's all set up. So first, I'll do the, so first you, you'll eject, and then I'll do the parachute. So you put one in the middle, or, or whatever, and you can reorder them. Yeah, so now you can put some fuel and etc. Does that, is there like a weight section? Like, how much? Uh, well, it says on the thing how much it weighs. Yeah, yeah, so if you hover over whatever pro whatever object you're putting on. Wait, but I mean now, like, with, with, um, with what I've got here. I don't remember. Uh, click on bottom right down there. Oh, well, there it is. Right there, that's the weight. Is that there? Yeah, should be. Okay. So, go to... Engines. Engine. So put on the fuel, liquid fuel. Max thrust. <laughs> Okay, but I'm pretty sure only one rocket won't do. Right, so normally what rockets do, like in real life, they put a solid fuel on the side and liquid fuel too. So if you want, you can put solid fuel on the I haven't meat. got any, um... Right, so here, you can put... Okay, so put a radial decoupler underneath. No, don't do that yet. Jesus. <laughs> um, so put a... So grab... Under, it's under structure. Right, so stack decoupler underneath. So it'll actually shield that. And then you put an engine underneath that. So put the you can put the I'd maybe put the hammer underneath. Or you can put the fleet. It's up to you. Put the hammer underneath. So that way it'll do that first. So maybe get rid of that one because that one's not necessary. Oh no, the one below it. Yeah, two. You hit the minus. Okay, so so I it'll do solid, decouple, liquid. Couple and then it'll just be able to parachute to bring you back right down. Okay. Which is, I think is what you want. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's name it. Let's name it. And then uh, we'll launch it next time. The USS. Fuck it. Okay. The USS. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Next time, I'm USS. Sure. Fuck it.